but they are guiding the people to spookism and mystery and delusion and fantasy then that cannot be Elijah Muhammad's teaching even though it's the teaching itself is filled with belief Elijah Muhammad tried to keep it on the real Before the Honorable Elijah Muhammad left us, he said, there's something I want to tell y'all. Listen, followers of Elijah Muhammad, believers in this man, listen to me. Listen to what I have to say very carefully throughout this video lecture. Come on now. Let's talk to one another. Let us communicate. Don't hate me because I'm bringing a difference of opinion. That is not what the children of Elijah Muhammad should do. There should be unification in that difference of opinion. So that this man of whom all we love, this man can continue to live and show these devils because Elijah Muhammad said, I'm going to win. Living or dead. So it makes no difference if Elijah Muhammad is alive or dead, he's going to win. We're going to make sure that. He said, there's something I want to tell you, but you're not ready. I wonder what that could be. Elijah Muhammad stated that there was supposed to be a book to come after the Holy Quran. He was supposed to bring it, but he is gone. When is this book supposed to appear? And he was supposed to write a book called Black and White. What was that book going to be about? It was so many questions that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad left. And is it possible, since the Honorable Elijah Muhammad left no error, not no error, no error, somebody to take his place on the throne, he did not decline nobody. Is it possible that Elijah Muhammad wanted the nation of Islam to fall for a particular reason and put the fate of the people back in the hands of God, Allah? Is that possible? So that God could create something better than the nation of Islam. Mm. You don't think that's possible, do you? <laughs> Because y'all really don't understand God and you really don't believe in God. God uses whom he pleases. How can you talk about God? You don't believe in God. I believe in God and understand better than you do. Much better. Now I know some of y'all are going to get angry at me right now because I'm going to have to tell us some things and I hope that this message that this video lecture would reach the ears of brother minister Louis Farrakhan because I have nothing against brother minister Louis Farrakhan if it was not for brother minister Louis Farrakhan my big brother I would not be before you today there's no doubt about that Louis Farrakhan is the reason why, and some of us don't want to admit it, but Louis Farrakhan is the reason why many of these people who quote unquote are so pro-black, many of you love Malcolm, Minister Farrakhan is the one in the early 80s that raised the name of the Elijah Muhammad back up. Thus, he also raised up the name of Malcolm X and so many of our freedom fighters. Louis Farrakhan did this. Prior to Louis Farrakhan attempting to raise the nation of Islam back up, I heard nobody out there doing nothing. But all of a sudden, y'all got y'all happy campers. All of a sudden, everybody knows so much and blah blah blah. Where was your voices at? Nobody, nobody said nothing. First of all, nobody said nothing. In the early 80s, because there was no Facebook, there was no internet. Minister Farrakhan, myself, who was helping Minister Farrakhan, 
We was on the streets stumping the grounds, meeting people in person, not on YouTube, not on the internet. We was doing the work. So now you can run your damn mouth. It's easy to put your raggedy face on YouTube, Facebook, and run your mouth. It's much takes more work and it's more difficult. Hands on. That's why y'all can't do nothing with me. I worked with Louis Farrakhan. We was hands on. We was in the face of the people. We dealt with these races in person. We dealt with these Uncle Tom Negroes in person. We was on the street in person. We had doors slammed in our face in person. We was attacked in person by the police and other hateful Negroes on the street. So I would never degrade, make mockery. And even though so many people have come to me and they want me to speak against Minister Farrakhan, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show a difference of opinion, but that's my brother. And Minister Farrakhan or anybody has the right to question what I say and have a difference of opinion. But the bottom line is, just like my mother I have a disagreement with. My father I might have a disagreement with. Brother Andre I might have a disagreement with. But when it's all said and done, when y'all come to jump on Brother Andre or Farrakhan or my mother, guess where I'm going to be? Regardless to whether we disagree or not. Because that's family. You do understand that. Ain't no enemies here. We're striving and fighting for the same goal, and that is the upliftment of our people, the betterment of our people. I hope that's what you stand for. And we want to talk about that. Because if you don't really love black folks and you have another agenda, that puts us on another side of the fence. Now, I want to tell you, and those who know the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teaching, I was introduced to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad when I was eight or nine years old. I've read all the books from How to Eat to Live, Our Savior Has Arrived, The Fall of America, Message to the Black Man. I've read all of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's material ever since I was a little boy. Louis Farrakhan did not introduce me to the nation of Islam. My relatives gave my mother some books of the messenger, books that my mother threw in the trash can, but as a little curious boy, I wanted to find out why my mother threw those books in the trash can. I went into the trash and, and gotten the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's books. And like they say, the rest is history. And Elijah Muhammad became the father of man on paper and ink. A man on paper and ink became my father. Father I never knew. So I would never attempt to try to seek to destroy his name or belittle him. That's my father. And Louis Farrakhan is my big brother. But I want to talk to Brother Farrakhan. I want to talk to the believers who follow Minister Farrakhan. I want us to be brothers and sisters. Let us sit at a table and stop this. I hate, oh, you just jealous and you hate Louis Farrakhan. That's a damn lie. Y'all need to stop it. What it is, you hear truth. You hear the real truth, but you don't want to accept it. But you're the main ones that get angry at Christians and other people because they, they reject the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad because of your truth. But when real truth is coming to you, you do the same dang thing. What's up with that? 
First of all, listen carefully and understand before you judge somebody. Because everything I say comes from a good place. I mean nobody, no harm. Anybody out here on YouTube, I've never meant any type of harm. I seek to show you a difference of opinion or what I believe is the flaw in your ideology or your thinking. I'm not a internet stalker. I'm not an internet bully. I love black folks. I did not come to YouTube or Facebook or any place to demean, degrade, and make mockery of my people. I am like Master Farah Muhammad. I come to love you. And sometimes when we tell people the truth about certain things, it hurts our feelings. When Louis Farrakhan teaches, don't you know that hurts many people's feelings? So what is good for the goose is good for the gander. You don't have the ultimate truth. You can also be advised. There's no human being on this planet that know it all that can't be advised about nothing. But we get arrogant because we say God is with us. Maybe God is speaking through me for you if you listen. You really don't believe in God. It's got to be your way how you view things. At the same time, you say God uses who he deems fit. Maybe God don't want to give you the ultimate message that we need. But you should be able to recognize it when it comes to you. If you so smart, if you so divine. I love us. Love the brothers and sisters in the nation of Islam. I love the Moore Science Temple. I love the Black Power Cartel, the Hebrew Israelites. 5% 10% nation, whatever the name they go by nowadays. I love all of us who are trying and striving to better your individual self and in return try to bring some of this positive energy to our poor, suffering, deaf, dumb, and blind people who are getting eaten up every day by a vicious demon who lie and deceive them. Giving them lemonade when it's urine in a cup. We are all on the same side, people. Or are we? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we're not on the same side. Because, see, I want what is good for black people. I'm not trying to convert you to no religion. I'm trying to and want us to rise as a people no matter where in life you are. I am who I am. Brother Andre is who he is. I'm not forcing and not asking Brother Andre to be like me or think like me. If what I'm saying is correct, sooner or later, Andre or anybody else, you'll come my way if I'm correct. We all on different levels. You don't build a house from the top. You build a house from the bottom to the top. And it starts from there and it goes up. Everybody is in different places. But when it's all said and done, once the house rises up, it takes all those beams. Take It takes everybody from the bottom to the top so that house can stand strong. Do you understand? We want to build a house. We need to stop arguing and debating over how the house is built. And just start building. So that when this ship begins to sink. We can just leave. You don't have to wonder why or where we're going. Just leave. And don't look back. Because otherwise you'll be turned into a pillar of salt. And we don't want no more turning back. We don't want any more punishments. After 400 years of, of hell in America. You and I. We have been punished enough. 
I don't want to hold you long. Let me make these points and let you go home. Some of y'all already home. <laughs> Just bear with me. Let me, please help me get through this. Understand, listen. Don't hear, listen. Because when you listen, you are trying to make an attempt to understand what is being said. But if you're just going to hear me, then you just hear sound. You're not making an attempt to really understand what is being said. It's just noise. And if you think that what I'm saying is just noise, then you need to shut this video off and you need to leave me alone. Because I'm not bringing no noise. I'm not bringing you entertainment. I'm bringing you edutainment. Education for us. Advice for us so that we can grow and be better. We can always be better. Now, listen. I know Elijah Muhammad's teaching. Many brothers and sisters, they know Elijah Muhammad's teaching. And you can know Elijah Muhammad's teaching. Just read for yourself. You don't have to depend on nobody else. Read it for yourself. What Minister Louis Farrakhan is bringing to the people, and not only myself, I've heard others say this too, this is not, what you see is not the nation of Islam. It is not the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's just the bottom line. It is a manufactured, fabricated version of Louis Farrakhan's own opinion and idea that he puts Elijah Muhammad's name on. Now, some of the things he does is 100% Elijah Muhammad. But as time has gone on since I was in the nation of Islam, it turned from Elijah Muhammad's teaching to something that Louis Farrakhan has manufactured. You cannot claim to be the national representative of the honorable Elijah Muhammad but Elijah Muhammad no longer exists. There was a, there was a, I forgot, there was a, there was a uh, car company. In fact, there are many companies. Matter of fact, there was a company called Burger Chef. I'm going to use this as an example. Let's say I came before the people. And I represent Burger Chef. Now, during the time of Burger Chef, there are some people who remember Burger Chef. How silly. Now, I'm not calling nobody silly, but in a way it is. How silly would it be for me to come before you and say, I represent Burger Chef. People looking for Burger Chef, they want a Burger Chef burger. But there's no Burger Chef because Burger Chef no longer exists. Elijah Muhammad no longer exists. How are you going to represent somebody that no longer, you cannot represent them because they no longer exist. So since Elijah Muhammad is not here, he no longer exists, then he can no longer approve or, or disapprove of the actions that you take. So in the current political climate that